Plunge into a world of ancient Japanese horror. As a moto, a spear-wielding samurai, it's your duty to descend deep into the abyss to save the world from the horrors of the evil one. Fight through hordes of hideous monsters to save Shizuka, the keeper of the talisman that seals the evil one in his prison. It's up to you to save her. Use your fierce spear spin attack to weave a web of destruction. Call on magical farces to blast your way through the legion's leprous beasts. I think that's probably supposed to be forces. This is Muzya. Tale of Japanese Horror, or something like that. Developed by Jorudan and published by Seta. This is considered a survival action adventure game. I don't really know why. It's just pretty much standard uh, action platformer from what I can tell. And it is friggin' hard. It is a very hard game. Um, it's it's an older Super Nintendo game, 1992 is when it came out, so it's not not quite old enough to be a launch title. But you know what? It it looks pretty darn good and plays pretty darn good for the age it is. And Seda, the the people who published this, not really known for doing um, super impressive games, but this one it just really kind of works out pretty well. Uh, I've tried to play it a bunch of times, never very good at it, so uh, I don't. Um, let's see. Don't have any reception data, but I got some development uh, notes for you here. The game received several edits for the North American edition. For instance, the large testes of the Tanuki were removed. In addition, the manji shown to reveal the amount of spell and scrolls held were edited away. That is the uh, swastika looking thing. The Japanese version of the game is one of the few games that uses Japanese numerals. The English version uses Arabic numerals. The Japanese dialogue is replaced with English language dialogue. In addition, Muzio uses kanji in various parts of the game to represent modes and levels. For instance, in the Japanese version, uh, the English language word pause is not used instead of the instead the word ipuku, which is probably not how it's pronounced, meaning is take a break, appears from both ends of the screen. In the English language version, the word pause forms under the word ikupu, uh, ipuku, excuse me, with the pa under a dash and the use under the kanji for that. So that's interesting. It says pause in different languages. Uh, it's, it's a pretty darn good game, really. It's just hard. I've never finished it. But our good buddy Behold My Strength has played this a couple of times, and if you want to see a really good Let's Play of it, I'm going to point you to him. 